Hi, this is Jaden with the Adventure Pilot, and today I'm going to be walking you guys through iFlight EFB's new forecast and altitude weather planning features. So, first off, we'll go ahead and check out the forecast feature, and so that can be found in the map mode, and then by selecting the forecast map layer. So you're going to notice a new layer pop up on the moving map, and in the top right, or um, excuse me, the bottom right, you're going to have a little box that will have a slider and some different tabs we can choose from. So the time slider is going to allow you to look at the trend of weather throughout your flight. And you'll notice it moving across the map here as that little thunderstorm in the south comes up. So what it's showing here is the tab that we currently have selected is the flight rule. So based on the different color coding on the right hand side that that legend shows you, um, green for VFR, blue for moderate VFR, red for IFR, and magenta for limited IFR, you'll see the trend of information along your flight route here. So yeah, that'll give you some situational awareness as when to fly. And if we scroll through the other tabs here, it's going to give you a little more information. So one, you can see the visibility based on the statue miles of visibility there. If there's any low ceilings and what the altitudes for those would be. The base altitude of the clouds you're seeing. The tops of those clouds. The convective activity, it has a percentage of low, medium, or high here. And then finally, just the total coverage of the cloud layers. And it lets you know, based on the gray color, if it's few, scattered, broken, or overcast. One last thing I wanted to add in here was for the total coverage layer, it's actually a link, and so you can select it to show different altitudes for where the clouds are. So low coverage is going to show 0 through 6,500 AGL, mid is 6,500 to 15,000, and high is greater than 15,000. And of course, total shows all of those layers combined. So that's a decent feature there to give you some situational awareness along your flight route. And of course, <laughs> this little flight route I have plugged in here is not something I'd fly um, just because of the weather, but just for example, it's there. And so if we close out of this by clicking the X button, that'll get rid of the layer for you. And now we'll go ahead and check out the altitude planning. All right, now that we've checked out the forecast layer, we're going to check out the altitude planning features that we have in the flight plan section. So to check this out, you'll go ahead and tap flight plan. And First things first, before we go any further, you want to make sure that you have your flight route already plugged in and that you have your aircraft profile set up. The aircraft profile is going to allow iFly to calculate your fuel burn and estimated time and route based on your aircraft. And so it's important to have that plugged in to get the right information here. So we can go ahead and click more options and then altitude planning. So currently I have all the layers disabled, so it's just showing you which altitude we're flying at and the departure time, the fuel, and the estimated time and route. It also shows you the terrain and any obstructions along the route. So if we click layers here, this is where it's going to get a little more interesting and where we're going to see some more information pop up. So first off, we can click flight conditions. And so that's going to pop up a colored bar at the top that's going to show what flight condition VFR MVFR, IFR, or LIFR along the top based on the colors there. And that would be at that specific point in your route. Then you can check the surface visibility, which is going to do the same thing just for the surface there. If there are any low ceilings, those are going to be displayed where the ceiling altitude is and what uh, flight conditions that would be for that area. Then you can check the cloud coverage, which will show the cloud top and base for that cloud layer there. Next, you can display the airspaces on that page as well, just for some extra situational awareness. And in case you wanted a flight plan around these, you could do that as well. Next, you can obviously check the special use airspaces. And then finally, you can check the head to tailwind. And this is important because it allows iFlight to optimize for the best 
altitude to fly you at if it prefers a tailwind higher up or lower, depending on that. And you can notice that if you actually move your flight route around, you can see the fuel and the time change. And if you click options and optimize for winds, iFly will optimize that to you for you based on the best winds that it can find at that departure time. One important thing to note for the weather displayed on the altitude planning screen is that the weather is based on the time it will take you to reach that location in the flight. So for example, in this flight here, my estimated time and route is one hour and 50 minutes. And so at the landing destination, the forecasted weather at that area is one hour and 50 minutes in the future. This applies to your full flight route, and so each section of the flight route is going to be based on the forecasted weather for that time at that location. Also, you do have a time slider here for your departure time, and you can scroll through this to see how bad the weather gets during this flight. And of course, I probably do not want to be departing at 5.45, 6 a.m. here. Um, <laughs> But that's a little decent feature there to help give you some situational awareness on why, when you should fly or not. It could help you with a go or no-go decision and uh, definitely based on what altitude to choose. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys on this tutorial today. You can go ahead and give us a call if you have more questions at 214-585-0444 or email us at support at adventurepilot.com. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks.